Hello guys, this is uh, faculty Sudarshan from Hari Academy here. Today onwards, we are going to start with the series for CA Foundation, for CMA Foundation. Okay, so in this series, each and every day, we will be uploading with one tricks. That trick will give you super duper confidence in your examination. Our topic for our today's trick is effective rate of interest. Okay, in this trick also, I am not only going to give you a trick, but I will make you understand the concepts here and there. Okay, first, under the effective rate of interest, the effective rate of interest, first thing, it is independent of principle. First thing is what? It is independent of principle. The effective rate of interest is applicable only when interest is calculated more than once in a year. More than once in a year. So, if it is more than once in a year, then we will say it is half yearly, quarterly or monthly. When half yearly is known as semi annually, it's known as semi annually. Now, half yearly means I will take n is equal to 2, quarterly means n is equal to 4, monthly means n is equal to 12. Why you are taking? Because it is an in a year, one year we have two quarter, two four, two half yearlies, four quarters, and 12 monthlies. Now, what's the important point? The question they have given to you is 5,000 invested in term deposit scheme fetches interest at 6% per annum compounded quarterly. What will be the interest after the one year? This we will see it on tomorrow. Today, we will only see what is effective rate of interest. Effective rate of interest, we need to, there is a basic formula that is E is equal to 1 plus I whole power n minus 1. This is a formula which we need to do by traditional method. I am not here to teach you the traditional method. The traditional method is here. You may do. But what you can do this, whenever there is an effective rate of pushing, whenever you see it is 6% per annum quarterly, it means 6% by 4 because it is quarterly. So 6% by 4, what is the value? 6 by 4, what is the value you will get? 1.5. Okay, 1.5. After that, what you need to do? Take a calculator. Take a calculator. Press 100 plus 1.5 percent plus 1.5 percent plus 1.5 percent plus 1.5 percent because it is quarterly means it is four times. What you will get? 106.136. We have taken 100. We will assume 100 and we will make. Now subtract the 100. What is the percent? 6.136 percent. So it is nothing but 6.13. Within 30 seconds, you have got the answer. Again, I will repeat. First, take 100 in your calculators. Then plus 1.5 percent, plus 1.5 percent plus 1.5 percent, plus 1.5 percent. Why we are doing? Because they are given 6 percent. They said it is quarterly written. Then it is quarterly. We divide the rate by 4. We multiply the quarters by 4. Okay. So we will divide. Then it will become 1.5 percent. Now, finally, this will become 106.13635 percent. Now, subtract the 100 you will get 6.1365%. I hope you have understood what is effective rate of interest. See you in a, tomorrow with a very good tricks and tips under the math and stats series. Thank you. Enjoy the trick. Apply the trick. Get your answers. Get clear your examination. Have a nice day.